Welcome back to beginningdeveloper.com. Today we're going to be looking at creating a new Maven project inside Eclipse. So let's go ahead and get started. Creating a new Maven project inside Eclipse is very simple. There's two ways to get started. First is up at the top at File, New, and then our list of everything new that we can create. Second is with the New button. We're going to go ahead and drop down and see the exact same list we saw underneath the File New. Since our workspace is empty and we wanted to start a new project, traditionally we would select the Java project, but since we're going to be doing a Maven project, we're going to select the project, which comes up with a wizard, and it says, which one would we like to build? Well, we want a Maven, Maven project. Hit Next. We're going to use our default workspace location that was selected when the uh, Eclipse was first opened. For an in-depth description of that, please see the what is an IDE. Next. We're going to use the 1.1 version. Next. Now we're brought to a, uh, a few fields. Now these fields are important because they will be used to generate the package, uh, the name of the application, as well as uh, the fields inside the POM. So let's go over them real quick. We have our group ID, which is traditionally used for our company or organization. Uh, I've already filled mine out as com.beginningdeveloper.maven. We next have the artifact ID. This is the name of your application, as well as what your jar is going to be named whenever it's compiled. So let's just go ahead and create something simple, new project. Our third field here is a drop-down list that has a word that you are probably not familiar with if you are new to Maven, and that is the word snapshot. Now, snapshot is an easy way of saying uh, still in development. For example, we are working on our first version of our software. Now, since it is not released yet, uh, it's still in development, we denote that with a snapshot. But upon creating our, our software and re ready for our users to use it, or also known as production worthy, we will remove that snapshot and now it is version 1.0.0. Zero, zero. But since we are still working on this application, we're going to go ahead and leave that snapshot on there. The last drop down we have on here is the package, which is com beginning developer dot maven dot new project. What this will do is this will generate our package structure, which we'll see here shortly. So let's go ahead and hit finish and see what we see. Eclipse builds our new Maven project very quickly. Now underneath our project explorer over here on the left, we have our new project that we named. Let's go ahead and expand it and go over what each thing is. First we have our source main Java. So let's go ahead and expand that out. We have our package that we had noticed before and the wizard. And now we have one class. We have app.java. This is a pre-generated class for us that simply just has a main method in it with a hello world statement. This is so that way we can test our application right now. You can put all of your source files in here. We can have our, uh, all our different classes. We can have new main methods. We can have uh, client, server side, uh, packages, um, whatever, you, whatever you're going to be creating. This is where all it's going to go. The second one that we want to see on here is our source test Java. Now this is where all of our test cases are going to be. That's a pretty advanced topic for what we're going to go over right now. So right now, let's just look at this one file that has created a JUnit test for us that will run whenever we next run our application. But for right now, it's not traditionally that important. Uh, it is a very important concept, but we're going to create a later video to go over uh, testing in general. We have our JRE system library, our Maven dependencies, which right now we should only have the JUnit one, which is we'll, we'll see here shortly. Uh, we have our source, which is main and test, and our target directory, which is empty. Uh, that's because we have not built our application yet. The last one we have on here is our POM. So double click that, and it's brought into our overview. Now this is a GUI representation of the XML file. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like in the raw, which right here we see POM.xml. We select that, and now we have all of our XML. This is what makes Maven Maven. This is our fully customizable uh, palm.xml that was pre-generated with the fields that we filled out in the wizard. Uh, lines 5 through 8 should be pretty recognizable by now. We have our group ID, our artifact ID, our version, and our packaging. Um, whenever we had went over our example about removing our snapshot, we could simply remove this here. Uh, hit delete and save, and once we build the next time, our jar will be 1.0.0. .0 .0. The next thing I want to draw your attention to is the dependencies. Now, we notice that inside our 
um, Maven dependency is we already had our J unit. So this correlation right here is that this dependency was downloaded inside our Maven dependencies, which allows our application to now use the J unit uh, project. Now, what does this mean? Well, say you have an application and you need access to a database. For instance, uh, MySQL. Well, how are you going to get those dependencies so that way you can use those classes inside your application? You can go to the Maven repository, which I will leave a link for that in the description below. Uh, type in uh, MySQL, select the version that you want, which is here, and you will see this exact line, uh, 18 through 24, version of MySQL. This is what makes Maven amazing, is that once I have that few lines of code, I can put them, paste them inside here, and what do I have? I have my uh, dependency. All I have to do now is update my project and I can use uh, any other dependency or any other library that I have put inside my dependencies throughout my application. So now, given the previous example, I can use the MySQL uh, version and my application, which is phenomenal. Uh, because before you would have to do dependency uh, management on your own whereas now since we are using the convention of Maven it does that for us so uh, we don't necessarily need that white space so we're just gonna save our file and leave it as is so now what how do we run let's say we've done some stuff on here like we want to do another um, sys out Well, the first thing we need to do is, and this project hasn't been built, hasn't been compiled, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and do right-click the project, go down to Run As, and we see our uh, Maven selections. Well, the one that we're interested in right now is the Maven install, so that way we can build it. Upon selecting it, notice on our console that we have uh, log messages popping up, and it says Build Success. Well, that's good, uh, because <laughs> if it hadn't built, um, I'd be really surprised. Um, notice that it said it ran our test. That's because we have a single test case over here. And the more tests you add uh, will run because it runs any test that's inside our um, source test Java uh, package. Uh, so let's go ahead and run it now that we've built it. Because if we expand our target, we notice that now we have our jar folder and all of our uh, other dependencies. So let's go ahead and right click and we're going to do the exact same thing that we do with other Java projects, which is right click, run as, Java application. Now it's asking for our main method, which we know is inside the app. So app class, hit OK. And there's our two lines of code. Hello world, why hello yourself. That's it. I mean, that's, that's Maven in a nutshell. Uh, you can get more advanced, uh, but you can't get any more simpler than that. I mean, we have a simple hello world application and our, our jar has been, uh, been built. Um, you can add automation as far as if you're wanting to clean up uh, or do some other build configurations uh, inside there. We're not going to get into that right now. We're just going to simply uh, stay with this. So uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you next time and make sure to stick around if you want to see how to convert a um, current Java project into a Maven project.